Everybody talks about the weather, but so few people do anything about it. We're in Gothenburg, Nebraska today as part of the Winning Has Roots Tour, and we're talking to Brian Olson, who's the research lead at the Water Utilization Learning Center that Bear operates here. They run a lot of corn and soybean hybrid trials here, and it's very interesting to see what they're doing. But you know what? Brian's even controlling the rain. Let's hear what they're working on. The Learning Center was put out here out in the western production corn belt because we really wanted to have a site to evaluate stress, right? So we have uh, 200 acres of irrigated corn production where we have variable rate irrigation technology where we can evaluate basically full irrigation versus 50% uh, irrigation versus dry land, looking at the system all on that same piece of ground. So really unique tools that allow us to understand what is really gonna be the big drivers for that corn system and provide the most value for our farmers. Then behind me, we also have what we would call our rain out shelter. And this rain out shelter allows us to do some unique things that we would not typically get to do out in the field. And that would be to eliminate rainfall from the equation, but we're still evaluating moisture stress. So the, when rain comes, it actually closes the building up over top of the plots, and then it opens back up automatically. But the corn plots, we put supplemental irrigation on that through surface drip irrigation system. And so we can stress corn early, we can stress corn late, or we can put on, let's say, an allocated amount. So many of our farmers out west have allocated amounts of water. And so it simulates that type of environment and growing condition for those farmers. Olson works with a lot of hybrids and varieties here, and he doesn't do stuff that goes right to market but he did have some insights that growers could use on their own operations when it comes to evaluating the products they may want to plant on their farms. Evaluating the system, right? Working with their technical agronomist is, is key. Do they have full irrigation or not? Do they have an allocated amount of water? Do they have a pivot that can put on a significant amount of water very quickly across that uh, pivot? Or is it maybe ratcheted down? Maybe it, it once pumped 1,000 gallons per minute and now it's only 300 gallons per minute. So it takes a lot longer for that uh, to go across that pivot to put on that inch of water. So you really gotta look at what is, what's the ability of that system, right? Is it dry land? Or are you sitting out to, let's say around Grand Island where you got considerably more annual precipitation than you would at Colby, Kansas, right? Those are some things to think about. You evaluate the system, but you gotta look at the durability, right? That durability, that's one of the, really the big things that we've seen over the years. We are obviously increasing yield potential in our corn products, but when we evaluate corn products under stress, we are seeing dramatic differences in the ability of our corn products now compared to corn products 20 years ago in it being able to handle stress. Reporting from the Winning Has Roots Tour, I'm Willie Vogt with Farm Progress.